everyone, Paul here again. I'm going to be showing you um, what the student sees on their end of the Envision Digital Platform. Um, so right now I am in a student's uh, site and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my class. In this case we'll use uh, the seventh grade class. Once I'm inside what you see are three tabs at the top. That's going to let you know what the student has not started. Or I'm sorry, that's going to let the student know what they have not started what's in progress and what they've completed. So I'm going to show you two items in here that are very helpful. Um, if the student's in something, let's look at 2.2 two, two student e-text. If they want to attach a file, it's just like any other program that um, you would use. You'd simply go to attach file and you're able to attach from the computer, Google Drive, or OneDrive. This is useful if you assign a student a PDF assignment and it's not digitally interactive. They can easily do the work in their notebooks, take a photo of it, and then upload it through their computer or Google Drive. Um, also, if they're more advanced, they can scan it and upload it as well. Um, and then if they want to leave you a comment, it's just, again, like any other Google Classroom or Social Drive where you just add your comment and then post it. And then the teacher will receive that. So it's a great way for them to initiate um, any conversation or maybe they have a question for you and you'll receive that on your end. So let's go back and the second thing I want to show you if you're not familiar with the digital platform with N2.0 um, I'm going to go to in progress here. For today's challenge that um, I'm, sh I'm certain that you do in the classroom that extends to the entire topic if you assign it digitally I'm going to open it up here this is what the student sees. Again, they can upload here, make a post, but then they open the challenge. And now inside the challenge, um, I'm just going to type anything, but let's pretend they read this and they were going to answer a question or they were on a different day, whatever it may be. Um, if you look over here into the right, if you scroll, not, I'm sorry, if you go down to text, there's a T here, it says place text, click that. And then they would type in whatever their answer is and what they also have is they have to type in any equations because it is mathematics um, they would just go ahead and, and click on the equation symbol which is a division sign here and then they're able to do anything you want to put a, a fraction in you can put a fraction um, if you want to do relations you can have uh, relations if you want to do geometry there's geometry um, so they have everything they need to write in um, their expressions or equations once they press the X it is placed in there. What they're able to do is hover over here and just drag it so it's more visible. And then when they're done, all they have to do is click the check at the top right hand corner. You're ready to turn it in. Your work has been turned in. Now that is sent over to you on your end. I'm going to exit here and then show you that it leaves the in progress. And now it should be in completed. And there it is in today's challenge. So that's very um, easy for them to access, communicate with you, and turn in their work. And then again, on the right side, do not forget they have their e-text here. So if you assign something through the text, it's easily accessible to them. They also have math tools, which are um, digital manipulatives. Um, there's uh, grids, and there's other items that they would be uh, that would be useful for them to use uh, to work through any problems. And that's it. I hope that was useful.